This is Amber Bell from Cal Business Solutions. Today's topic is working with Live Excel Report or Microsoft Dynamics GP. To access the Excel reports, you would log into GP and you can find these reports for all of the modules of GP sales, financial, purchasing, inventory, and more. So, as you see, I logged into GP, I'm under sales, and under sales in my navigation pane, there's an option that says Excel reports. Now over on the side you'll see it refreshed and I have all different reports. I'm going to go ahead and scroll over here and you can see there's a lot of built-in reports. Now if I click on one of these reports I have an option to open it as a report or a data connection. Both have the same information. The difference is the report will open with automatically being named and it's in the same location that it's set up. It's down here in that location. Whereas the data connection, you could save as any name you want. It opens just in the Excel book one or whatever newest book you have. We're going to go ahead and open one of these as a report, and then we'll open another as a data connection just to show the difference. So as I click on this, you'll see it opens in Excel. Now based on my security, it automatically pulled that information. And I can see here's all of my customers, and I can see all of their balances. What works really nicely with these reports is that if I get another payment from those customers, I can simply go into data and refresh and the information will refresh. I can also go under connections, properties, and set this to automatically refresh. Maybe I want it to refresh every 15 minutes or maybe I want it to refresh every five minutes. All I do is make that change and then close and when I save it it'll save that change. Now that's a very simple way to view what's going on in the system. If we go back into GP you can run some really nice reports. I can come down in here and say I want to look at receivables transactions by customer. So we're going to do a data connection for that one and hit enable. Now because it's a data connection and because I have a little more data I have some extra options and you'll see what this did automatically in my Excel as it went to the design and I can summarize with the pivot table. If you don't jump there automatically you can simply hit insert if you don't see the design and just hit pivot table. It's going to select the whole data and you can drag and drop some fields into these sidebars. So watch if I click in pull in customer name. I can pull sales amount in and then what I might want to do is see how much of their amount is per document type. So I simply pulled that into rows and pulled that into columns and I can come in here and put in some extra options that come from Excel. I have the newest version of Excel. I'm running 2013 for Excel. So I actually have a built-in time slicer. I can do all kinds of really cool reports. So that's a very very basic way to pull information but as you can see again if I want to I can refresh the data and pull that information outside of GP. If you have not had those implemented or turned on in your system, you can have your system administrator or your partner go under administration and then under setup there will be an option for setting up reports. So we'll go ahead and go into there. Reporting tool setup, Excel reports, you put the locations. In your case it would probably be a server location and then they would choose the companies to deploy and hit deploy reports. The most complicated part in getting those working properly is your security in SQL and you can contact our office to help you with that. Well, as you can see as I click through the different modules of GP, there's Excel reports for financial. You can get my account transactions information there. There's Excel reports for my inventory which is a really nice Excel report because you can give people access to seeing quantities on hand that maybe don't have access to GP. Simply click on there, enable, go ahead and click OK. And now we're going to see our items with their quantities. So there's a lot of information that you can pull right from inside of GP and run different reporting. For more great Dynamics GP tips, visit www.calzone.com tips and sign up for our e-newsletter.